guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a makeup look i've decided that i'm going to be doing a everyday makeup look that i wear quite often so first off i'm going to be using this contour foundation stick so this is going to be from under my eyes nearly one out actually i do have some other ones I thought I'd use this up first. Eh? I've got a mirror in front of me. So then I'm just gonna rub it in with my eyes because it's like much better for me. As long as it's good coverage, it's fine. Just like so. Just like that. And now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. I'm just going to like use this CBD brow gel it's pretty cool actually from a PS this is like from their new range so just use that to you know put my eyebrows nice and together straighten them you know just like that I mean, sometimes I would maybe just put this on and that is it. But for the purpose of this look, I'm going to be putting some contour and highlight brow pen on. This is this one in dark brown. And it's also got this part as well. I don't really use that part though. I also need a new one of these, but I do have other brow pencils. That's why I've not got a new one. But I literally only just like pull it on the edges and not a lot either. You know, just like that, like you can hardly tell, but I don't really like a lot. So now I'm going to be doing my foundation. I'm going to be using this PS Pro long wear foundation. I really like this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand this time. And then I'm just gonna use my brush, this brush here. And just put it on my face. I never use a lot. So much easier using a brush though than one of those little sponges I find anyway. Put it on my forehead. Just make sure you get every part of your face. Don't want it to look all blotchy. Make sure you do your neck as well. Now it looks really white on me, but that's because of the lighting. I think that looks fine. And now I'm going to do my mascara. I'm going to be using this Aqualash waterproof mascara. And it's also a lengthening and mega volume, and this is also by PS. I love this one. Just makes my eyelashes extra long, which I like. Very pretty, <laughs> but do say so myself. That's 
why I like putting on mascara. I mean, my eyelashes are long anyway, but I also like to put mascara on for my natural look. And then last but not least, I oh, I'm going to be putting on this uh, like highlighter set. It's Get Your Glow On, and this is also by PS. It's quite old but it's a really good one i thought i'd do something different i've got quite a few highlighter sets but i thought i'd use this one it even shows you how to put it on which i think is pretty good if you're like quite new to putting on contour and that i mean it can be quite difficult if you're new to doing it but yeah i thought that's quite handy to take it out of this and then it also comes with oh it's very powdery so comes with this concealer just put that to the side a minute it comes with this concealer which is very powdery one minute this this illuminating concealer and it looks like this um i've never used this actually as you can tell i'm just gonna put that in there so i'm just going to be using So I'm going to be using this and just, just kind of come apart. But I'll just show you like this. So it's very messy. I've used it quite a few times, so it looks like this. This is what I was talking about, this, these sponge things. I don't really have the patience for them, to be honest. I mean, maybe I'd use them sometimes, but not like all the time. And it also comes with these brush, this brush, very powdery. And this is what you can use to put these on with. But I would only use one of my other brushes. This one's a bit, you know, it's not very good. So I'm just going to stick that up actually. Okay. So yeah, I've used the middle one quite a lot. But yeah, I'm just get a brush. Uh, I think this one will do okay. I need to get one of those thinner brushes that you do the contour with, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest. I don't wear contour all the time, to be honest, but... Um, I do, like, most of the time for my natural looks, because otherwise you do look a bit pale, and I'm pale anyway, so... If I don't wear any contour or blush, then I look really pale. I don't want that. Just a look. Here. and also like here my nose so it gives me a bit of colour I never like to go overboard either fine if some people like to do that you know but I don't like to do that I still like to be really natural as this is a natural look anyway so just like that it gives me a bit of Colour. Also looks like I've got highlighter on. But I think that's the lighting. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. And then lastly but not least, I'm gonna be putting on my lipstick. This is called Lustra, I think, if so you say it. Not sure. And this is also by PS. This is like a peachy colour. It also smells really nice. And I've used this quite a lot as well, as you can see. So It looks like that. Sometimes you have to rub a little bit. I also might put another one on top because that one was quite pale. Let's do this one. This is my Kate one. I really like this one. It's also the same as my other contour set. It's, this is by Rimmel. So Rimmel is really good makeup brand. This is more of a pinkish colour. This is in the shade uh, Walk 54 Walk and Roll Nude. I only really like nude colours to be honest because nude suits me the best. So. It's 
kind of hard to put it on the top if, if it's like already used but so I'm just putting it on the bottom is enough so like that, that looks much better so guys this is my final look I hope you really enjoyed the video please give the video a big thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys all very soon oh and also please check out my mental health slash quote page and my art page i'll link them in the bio down below i'll see you all soon with another video bye